Good morning. My name is Chris Fox, and I'd like to welcome you officially to day one of the 21 Day Novel Challenge. This is where it gets real, folks. I'm about to start the writing. So today's video will differ a little bit from the previous videos. We're going to focus around the core of my methodology, which is the writing sprint. Everything that I do is designed to clear my decks so that there are no distractions and I am free to just write the best words I can write. You'll notice, looking at me, that I'm a little bit more casual today. I am wearing a bathrobe and pajamas. I just got out of the shower. That's important. You want to be comfortable when you're writing. I won't be having any pretenses. You're not going to see me wear a suit or anything. You're going to see me write just like I write. You'll get a chance when we go to the next segment of the video to see how I prepare for a sprint. So I'll have done things like, you know, cleared my email and turned off the internet. And then we're actually going to record the first sprint, which will be 20 minutes long. I'm going to be doing five writing sprints today. You'll see the first one live, and you'll get to see how many words I break out in that time, typically between 1,000 and 1,200. And then we'll finish up with a look at the Scrivener file and how far I've come at the end of the day. So yeah, let's get some words down. So I'm just going to walk through real quick the things that I've done to prepare. So as you can see, Wi-Fi has been turned off. Any program that could interrupt me with a notification has been turned off. Let me go ahead and kill messages as well. Um, my phone has been turned off. And I am left with the application that I'm going to use to track the word sprints, the 5,000 words per hour app, and Scrivener. Nothing else is going to get in the way. So what you're going to see next, I'm just going to hit the start button on my sprint, and then I'm going to start writing. And from there, it's going to go quiet and uh, we're gonna time lapse through the next 20 minutes. So note that we are at 710, that means that my sprint will end uh, 730 or 731, depending on the exact moment I hit start. So here we go. So I am two sprints into this. I've got a little bit over 2,000 words. That means I've got three sprints left to go. But I'm pausing to record this because I've already run into the first problem. So the way the novel starts out, we've got our ship, the UFC Johnston, coming out of a star. It's used something I call a Helios gate uh, to transport from star to star. It's our ship's get around the galaxy. And as it comes out, it finds the wreckage of a Tigris science vessel and it starts to investigate. As it's investigating, another Tigris vessel comes through, this one a warship, and begins to attack. So that's chapter one and two. I'm realizing now that I need to add in a different chapter three that will reflect a part of that battle. So the Johnston is boarded, and they need to respond to the Tigris incursion. One of my point of view characters is named Hannon. She's the leader of a Marine squad. And so I've taken the time to write up the scene from her point of view, just a, a quick chapter set of notes, sort of like what you saw me do in the outline. And now my third sprint, instead of what was originally going to be chapter three, is this new chapter three. So if you remember looking at the, the structure before, uh, cover was chapter two, which is now a full chapter, and then battle was chapter three. So this will still happen as it, it does here, but I've inserted this extra chapter, and this is going to be my third sprint. Um, anyway, I'm just sort of documenting changes I'm making along the way so that it's clear to those of you following along that this is a very non-linear process. You've got an outline, but that outline should not be a straitjacket. You don't want it to stop you from doing what you need to do. So feel free to make changes to your own outline, and of course you're going to see me doing that over and over tonight. So this is the final report for day one. <clears throat> I have completed all of my sprints and in the next section, you're gonna get a look at my screen so you can see exactly what I've accomplished and how the document has changed. Looks like I came in at 5,351 words, not too bad for my first day. It's possible I may run a few more sprints today. So it's only 11 a.m. I have plenty of time left today that I could do more words. But the important thing here 
is that I've accomplished my goal and accomplished it relatively early. Let's take a look at what I've done in the Scrivener document. Um, we will wrap up for today and then it's on to day two. Here is our final report for day one. So as you can see, 5,351 words out of 70,000. We've got about 19 hours until project completion. If you look at today's stats, you can see that I ran six sprints. Um, some of those sprints were shorter because they were shorter chapters and I was ending sprints at the end of a chapter. My overall words per hour is a little over 3,200, which is fine. It's not my fastest, um, but I think as I get deeper into the plot, that will increase. So I'm, I'm very happy with my performance there. If you look at the Scrivener document itself, so chapter one, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, which is new, it didn't exist prior to today, Chapter 4, Chapter 5, and Chapter 6 are all fleshed out. So each of these are done, which means that tomorrow I'll be on to Chapter 7, and I'm just going to keep going. So you'll see me continue to expand and add new chapters, um, and each of these acts are going to get fleshed out. But Day 1 has been great so far. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is quite possible I may run some more sprints today if I get excited. That would give me a little bit of a lead. If so, I'll make sure to record those too. But if not, I've hit almost 5,400 words and it's only 11 a.m. So I'm feeling really good about this whole challenge and about where we're going to go.